now lift your hands. Let's ask for the rain. 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 Let it rain, Lord. Let it rain. Let it rain. I make it over so I see the rain. 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 Ask for 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 the rain. It's washing you pure. It's washing you clean. It's washing you pure. Hey, back at the bottom. Rain, 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 rain. Let the clouds produce rain. Let the clouds release rain. Let the clouds release rain right now. We speak to the heaven. Release rain. Release rain. The healing rain. The healing rain. The latter 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 rain. Right now. Right now. Right now. Heaven is releasing. Heaven is releasing. Heaven is releasing. Hey, It's raining now. It's raining now. Hey. 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 I feel the Holy Ghost. Rebe Mahaso. I feel the Holy Ghost. Rabba Baba de Bodobosaya. I feel the Holy Ghost. Rebe Baba de Ketorabosaya. Rabba Baba de Bodobosaya. Rabba Baba de Bodobosaya Katorabosaya. Ah, the Holy Ghost is moving. 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 Open up yourself. Let the Spirit move through you. Some of you, your mind is on the way. Get your mind off of the way. It has nothing to do with your mind. Open up your spirit. Open up your spirit. Receive of the Lord. Receive of the Lord. I feel the Holy Ghost. 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 Uncommon healings are taking place. Uncommon healings are taking place. Body parts are growing back. Body parts are growing back. In the name of Jesus. 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 Uncommon healing. Yes, Lord. Uncommon healing. Yes, Lord. Uncommon healing. Yes, Lord. Uncommon healing. Yes, Lord. Some of you are receiving it. You are receiving it. A new internal organ. A new internal organ. A new kidney. Yes, Lord. A new kidney. Yes, Lord. A new kidney. A new Jesus. kidney, in the a, name new of heart, Jesus. a new in the heart, name of Jesus. a new heart, a new heart. The Lord has released. In the name of Jesus. The Lord has released. In the name of Jesus. The Lord has released. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. 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 Yes, in Jesus name yes Lord lift your hands say Lord Jesus I am not living here the same way I'm not living here the same I came in I came in I am living here healed I'm living here healed I'm living here delivered I'm living here delivered I'm living here I'm totally living well I'm living here totally well my spirit soul and body Spirit, soul, and body. I'm living here whole. I'm living here whole. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I have lifted my hands up. As I've lifted my hands. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. I open my spirit up. I open my Touch spirit. Touch me up. now. Touch me now. 
Touch me now. Touch me now. Touch me now. Touch me now. Touch me now. Touch me. 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 As you have asked him to touch you, now receive the touch. In a mighty name of Jesus. Receive the touch of the spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. Receive the touch. In a mighty name of Jesus. Receive the touch. In a mighty name of Jesus. Receive the touch. In the name of Jesus. Receive the mighty touch. In the name of Jesus. Receive the touch. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The Holy Ghost is moving him. Yes. The Holy Ghost is moving. Yes. Receive the touch. Yes. Receive the touch. In the name of Jesus. The Holy Ghost is moving. In the name of Jesus. The Holy Ghost is moving. In the name of Jesus. Receive the mighty touch of the Spirit. Receive him now. Jesus. Receive him now. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Receive the Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Receive the Holy Spirit. A fresh touch of the Spirit. Jesus. Ah, baby, I can tell you about Receive him now. Now, 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 now. Yes, it's flowing now. It's flowing now. It's flowing now. Receive him. Receive him now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit is moving. The Holy Spirit is moving. Receive him. A mighty touch. A mighty touch. A fire. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the 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 name of Jesus. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do it. They are new every morning. That's your favorite song. <laughs> new every morning. Oh. Me Great is thy faithfulness. Yeah. 
Hallelujah. 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 Please be seated. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody shout the Lord is good. Somebody shout the Lord is good. Oh, shout it like you know he is good. Yes, Lord is shout good. it like you know he is good. The Lord is good. Hallelujah. You're not shouting unto me. Shout to the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. If you want to shout that heaven will hear, it means your lungs is in trouble. You have to shout hallelujah. Praise God. How far is heaven from earth? Hallelujah. Thank God that even when we whisper, he can hear. Amen. But it doesn't stop us from shouting. Hallelujah. Bible says, shout unto the Lord with a voice of triumph. Let's shout hallelujah. 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 Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I have a short word for you today. Praise God. Somebody say a short word. Say the pastor has a short word. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 You see, faith, faith begins to take flight at a place where the word of God is known. Healing begins to take flight, begins to happen at the very point when the, 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 the word of God is known and received. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God will never go against his own word. He sent forth his word and healed them. Hallelujah. He said, so shall my word be. Isaiah 55. It will never return to me void. It shall accomplish and it shall prosper. You hear me? Praise God. Many of you have received your healing tonight. Are you able to keep that healing? Hallelujah. Are you able to maintain that healing? Hallelujah. Or you will be like the people in Luke chapter 11. When the demon is cast out, the demon will go to dry places seeking a place of rest. They don't find rest and then they will say to themselves, I have to go back to my house. The demon has the impudence to call your body its house. And they will come back. And when they come back and find you sleeping, find you not fasting, find you not praying, find you not coming to church, they said, okay, Abiwaha, let me go and bring seven more wicked spirits. Then they will come and inhabit your body. And then your situation will be worse. Then an uninformed person, an unbeliever sees you from outside and they will say, look at this person. I thought the pastor prayed for her. I thought the pastor prayed for him. But look, ah, her situation is worse. They didn't know that scripture says that when the demon is cast out, when the sickness is cast out, you don't have to sleep. You don't have to relax. That is where you press in. That is when you press forth. The kingdom of God suffered violence and only the violent will take it by force. Are you hearing me? Are you taking it by force? Hallelujah. 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 Healing happens in two degrees. Two degrees. Hallelujah. They happen. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Healing of the physical body is by degrees. Based on two conditions. Healing of your body. If you are going to be totally healed. If you are going to be delivered. It is in degrees. Based on two. Somebody say two. Somebody say two. Based on two conditions. Condition number one. Or degree number one. Is the degree of the healing that is administered to you. The degree of the healing that is administered to you. Do you believe in the man of God that prayed for you? Hallelujah. And if you believe, do you believe that when he laid his hands on you, virtue came from him and entered into your body? Hallelujah. That is what we call the law of contact and transmission. Somebody said the law of contact and transmission. Hallelujah. Anytime a contact is made, there is a transmission. Hallelujah. That's why you don't go around sleeping with any girl you find on the street and sleeping with any man you find on the street because the moment a contact is made, a transmission happens. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at somebody and say, protect your anointing. Hallelujah. Say, protect your anointing. Praise God. Don't be contaminated with so many stuff. Hallelujah. The moment a touch is made, the moment a contact is made, virtue comes. So that is condition number one. Condition number two, the degree of faith from you, the receiver, who will give action to the healing virtue that has been administered to you. You give meaning to it. You give action to it. Hallelujah. James said, show me your faith without action and I will show you my faith with action. Faith without correspondent action is what? It's dead. Praise God. Praise God. Christ Jesus is still healing. It's still healing. Tell somebody, Christ Jesus is still healing. Yes, tell them again. Tell them again. Hallelujah. His mission has never changed. His mission never ended. When he stood in the church and read the scriptures in Luke 4, 18, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, and he's still healing today. Hallelujah. To proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. This is the acceptable year for your life. In the name of Jesus, the diseases and sicknesses that you have carried over the years, doctors don't know what to do with it but I'm telling you somebody is here tonight who has all the answers you hear me Amen. hallelujah we read in the scripture Mark chapter 5 a woman a very wealthy woman accidentally for whatever reason she begins to bleed she began to bleed for 12 years going up and down Oh, Dr. Austin is good. Oh, let's go and see him in, in, in Texas, Austin. And then, hey, she'll book her ticket, first class ticket. She will go. Nothing happens. Hey, Dr. Benjamin is in Richmond. Let's go. Then she will book a ticket, go to Richmond. Nothing happens. For 12 years, Bible says she has spent all her wealth on doctors. Hallelujah. All her wealth, though, 
my God, my God, my God, how much money can you pay for a good health? The good health that you are enjoying, can you pay Jesus for it? Hallelujah. For 12 years, looking for good health, nothing was coming forth. Spent all she had. But one day she heard. Hallelujah. One day she was coming from Safeway. And she found a flyer. Hey, Jesus is coming to Crown House. My God, my God, my God. My God, my God, my God. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? She heard. My brother, she heard. Oh, She heard. Who told him? She heard. Hallelujah. She heard that Jesus is passing this way. And she said within herself, if only... Hallelujah. If only I can touch the hem of this man, I will be made whole. Hallelujah. This is the power of prophecy. She prophesied over her own life that if I could take the steps of faith, if I could move the crowd and get to him, all I need is the hem of his garment. I don't need him to lay hands on me. I don't need him to look at me. All I need is a contact. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. She decided. She wrote her own destiny. Says the doctors have done enough. I know. Thank you doctors. But I have found the doctor of doctors. Hallelujah. The doctor of doctors. The doctor of doctors. Then she went behind everybody. And touched. Hallelujah. Some of you take worship for granted. There's something about bowing before Jesus. For her to touch the hem, she had to bow. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Praise God. Bible says that he will lift you up. All those that are bowed. Tonight, I seal your healing in the name of Jesus. I seal your healing in the name of Jesus. I seal your healing. You have been healed because the Bible says so. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. If only I can touch. She wrote her own check. My former pastor, Pastor Gabriel, will say, write the figure and have fun with zeros. She had fun with a lot of zeros. Hallelujah. She mixed with faith. That's the second condition. If you don't do that, even if Jesus laid his hands on you, nothing will happen. Because your faith is not working. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, I said hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. So the condition number two, the degree of faith from the receiver, you give action to that healing virtue that came from the man of God. You give action to that virtue. Hallelujah. If you give action, it will work. It will work. His plan for your life has never changed. He's still looking for radical folks. So yesterday I preached on a sermon. I said, see, you are healed. See, you are healed. See, you are healed. So you ask me, where does this weird title come from? There is a difference between seeing and looking seeing and looking are not the same that's what Bible says they have eyes and yet they cannot see they didn't say they cannot look they have been looking all around praise God I looked at so many women but I saw my wife Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, you are not excited about that. Praise the name of Jesus. I, 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 <laughs> I saw. Praise God. Hallelujah. You need to see. You look with your eyes, 
but you see through your eyes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you hearing me? You see through your eyes. Has it crossed your mind? Has it crossed your mind, man of God, that in Revelation chapter 4, this is, this is in my book. Oh. My book is coming. This is in my book. Revelation chapter 4. John went to heaven. Everybody was busy. God was sitting on the throne. God was holding seven seals, seven scrolls with seals on them. They wanted somebody to go and grab the scroll. Because that is the destiny of mankind. But who is worthy to go grab it? Who is worthy? And the Bible said they look, they, they look around the whole heaven. They look around the whole earth. Nobody was worthy. Even John himself. Then John began to cry. John began to weep like a baby. Then an elder came to him and said, hey, hey, hey. we don't cry in heaven. <laughs> he says, <laughs> he said, don't cry. The, the elder said, see, the lion of the tribe of Judah. He says, he has triumphed. Hallelujah. And he is worthy to open the scroll. John, as a spiritual man, did not look, but he lifted up his eyes to see. Interestingly, man of God, when he lifted up his eyes to see, the elder says, see a lion. But John saw a lamb. John saw a lamb. John didn't see a lion. So you see, two men of God, one elder, one pastor, but looking with two sets of eyes, two different sets of eyes. One saw a lion. The elder was not lying. He was not lying. That is what he saw. There are so many faces of Jesus. One day I'm going to teach this in Crown House. The different faces of Jesus. Hallelujah. So what, what face of Jesus are you? Oh, oh, oh. What face of Jesus is, 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 is reflecting on your life? Hallelujah. Worshippers see the lamb because the lamb with all his humility, the lamb with all his sacrifice. Hallelujah. Worshippers will come to church with their white suit and lay down flat on the dust. They don't care. Hallelujah. This is the spirit of a worshipper. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Probably the elder was a praise and Jesus is the lion of the tribe of Judah. Judah means praise. Hallelujah. And lion roars. So praises, people who are full of praise, they don't mess around. They jump, they dance, they sweat. But there comes a time where praise cannot get the job done. Worship has to do the job. At, at this instance, the elder said, look at praise. But John saw worship. That it is worship that will get the job done. Are you hearing me? Be a worshiper. And your life as a Christian will never be the same again. Hallelujah. Worshippers are never without revelation. If you are a worshiper, you are always with revelation. Because the lion could not get the scroll. It was the lamb that got the scroll from the hand of God and opened it. When the lamb opened it, the whole heaven bowed down. Are you hearing me? They bowed down to worship. Praise. So you can, you can look and yet cannot see. See you are healed. If you cannot see your healing, it's never going to come. It's never going to come. That's why we read in Isaiah 53. Let's go there. I'll be brief. Praise God. I'm almost done. Just want to give you information so that you will take it with you and go home with it. Praise God. 
Isaiah 53, verse 4 and 5. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God and afflicted. But he was wounded. Somebody say he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him and by his stripes we are healed. Tell somebody, see, you are healed. See, you are healed. If you cannot see beyond your physical realm, if you cannot see beyond the mental realm, nothing is going to happen for you spiritually. Praise God. Because you cannot contact God with your mind. You contact God with your spirit. John 4. God is a spirit. They that worship him. They that contact him. They that want to do business with him. You don't do it through your mental faculties. You do it through your spirit. See, you are healed. So tonight, those that have been prayed for, lay hold of that healing. And I'm, I, I promise you that testimonies are coming out of it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your life will never ever be the same. Hallelujah. We read in, in, in Joshua when they went to possess Jericho. The walls were thick. Jericho was, was locked down. Nobody could go in and out. But the Lord came to Joshua and said, Joshua, see, I have given Jericho to you. He didn't say, look. If he told Joshua to look, Joshua could only see those big walls. No possibility of breaking these walls. Even bazooka cannot break these walls. And yet God said, go and possess it. Some of you see your problems are so big. You cannot see beyond the problem. You cannot see beyond the mountain. But God came to Joshua and said, Joshua, my boy, see. I have given to you Jericho. Go in and possess it. Praise God. They had to mix it with faith. They have to go around the seven days. That is their part of the bargain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So tonight, the, the healings that have been ministered to you, I pray that you will keep that healing. Some healings are instant. Some are progressive. Some doesn't take one day. Sometimes Jesus will heal and say, go and show yourself to the priest. And as they obey and they take steps, then the healing will take place in the process. Play, praise God. It will take place in the process. So I believe that you are healed. I believe you are healed. I believe you are healed. Praise God. And I pray that you will continue to seek the Lord. You continue to press in. You continue to move in towards where God is leading you. And your life will never ever be the same again. Amen. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Stand up on your feet. Tomorrow is going to be even more glorious. Seven o'clock we are here. Hallelujah. We will take off. And we will give the Holy Spirit more time to work on everybody. Invite people. Invite people. At least three people. Invite at least three people to come. Praise God. Praise God. I have taught in Crown House that when a person sleeps, his spirit doesn't sleep. Your spirit has never slept since you were born. Since you were created in heaven before you got here. Your spirit has never slept. Oh. Never. Never. I've taught them over here. And last Saturday they were praying for one sister. Suddenly his brother showed up. His brother that was sleeping in the house. Was not physically in the church. His brother showed up. And the prophet said look. Did you see him? Did you see him? Did you see him? His brother showed up because the spirit of the brother is not asleep. 
The soul is sleeping. The soul sleeps and wake up and revive and wake up, but the spirit never sleeps. Hallelujah. That's why you tap into your spirit for strength. That's why God works with your spirit. Hallelujah. Are you hearing me? The time is now for the fire to begin to blaze in your life. Lift your hands up. Father, I have ministered to your people. I have done my part as your minister. Now, Holy Spirit, finish what you have started. Finish what you have started. Finish what you have started. Every hand is lifted up. Let the virtue continue to flow until everything is finished. Everything that you have started in their lives, finished. They will never rest until you give them that testimony. That good testimony. I believe they are healed and I join my faith with them. And we claim this testimony in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, please take your seat. Let's get ready to close.